Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins. Thank you so much for joining me. Today is the start of a new series where I'm going to be challenging myself to use some of the colour combinations that were created during the Distress Ink and Colour Combination series that I did on YouTube just recently. I actually finished it at the end of 2023 and there are quite literally hundreds of colour combinations that I created. You can see all of those by going to the playlist here and I'll link that again at the end for you and down in the description. Now the challenge is not only to use one of these colour swatches on a card or project um, but also to use one of my older textures dies or stamp sets or something as well. Today I've chosen to use the Paris Romance Floral Layering Die Set. I love these big bold flowers. Let me just show you an example of what these look like. These are huge. I've lost the stamen for this one somehow. It is an old, old card. Um, but yes, yeah, so uh, something with these flowers on using this particular combination. This was my favourite of the entire series and it's made up of these four colours. So Shaded Lilac, Milled Lavender, Speckled Egg and Uncharted Mariner. By all means, you can craft along with me and use these same colours. If you do a different card using these colours, I'd love to see it. So make sure you tag me on all the social media platforms. So taking these... I am going to be creating these large flowers onto a 5 by 7 card background. So I've got a top fold card. This is again, this is kind of my favourite card shape and size to make, 5 by 7 inch. And I've got myself a panel of cardstock that is going to be my base. Now I tend to work on a base like this and then adhere it afterwards to the cards, the card base so that I'm not adding any moisture, any mediums, paint, inks to this. It stays nice and clean. So working on here... Usually I'd go ahead and I would uh, emboss this much as I actually have done in the background here just for a little bit of texture but I thought let's really use this die set and rather than embossing this I'm going to add some white die cuts cut from exactly the same cardstock or paper. Um, this is just a smooth kind of a smooth stamping cardstock um, so I'll use the exact same one so that the colours match perfectly and glue those leaf die cuts on and it will look like a leafy embossed background. Hopefully that's what I hope will happen. Um, and after that I will then be creating some beautiful coloured florals using this colour combination. I'm going to do some smooshing, I'm going to do some inking, flicking. I, I'm not sure how I'm going to add the colour yet but we're going to create these beautiful florals in these colours. Okay so let's start with those embossed leaves. So the leaves in this set actually come in two parts. So you have your bottom base layer and then you kind of have sort of a shading layer. So I'm going to cut both when I put these on my card and I might keep them together. I might actually snip and separate them so I've got individual leaves in the background. I'm not quite sure yet, but once I start laying them out, I'll decide where I want to position them and then, like I say, snip into some of them if I want. So now I've arranged all my leaves on my backing card. Obviously they're overlapping because once they're glued down, I'm going to trim them so that it looks like a continuous sort of pattern. So I'm going to use my wet glue here and I'm first of all going to glue the layers, so like the shading of the leaves down and then the leaves themselves. So there's my faux embossed panel, really happy with that and really easy to do. So I'm going to pop that aside, well that's actually going to eventually go on my card base like so, so it's going to look really nice. In fact that would just look beautiful with a simple sentiment on it. But let's look at adding colour now to the floral dies to go on top of that. So to colour these flowers, I think I'm going to do two flowers, one's going to be the purples and one's going to be the blues. So I think I'm going to colour them by smooshing ink first of all. Um, I'm going to do a big panel and then cut out the pieces of the flower from the panel um, so I get a variation of colours. So smooshing these two um, purples, so one is milled lavender, it's ever so pale, it's almost, I mean it's, it's not going to show up much at all really on the um, paper and then I've got shaded lilac as well and then I'm going to press that down into the ink with some water in it lift it up see what I've got I think the shaded lilac here is definitely going to stand out a lot more but that's fine so just trying to get some color on pretty much everywhere around here and see be beautiful patterns that I'm picking up from the ink 
I don't want any white areas though. Even if it's pale, I want to have some colour. Now the top bit here is going to be the darkest, so let's continue that. There we go. I think that's okay for now. I think I'll pop that to the side. And then I'm going to give this a quick wipe. There's not enough on there for me to do anything else with. And I'm going to do exactly the same with the two blues. So that's Uncharted Mariner, which is such a gorgeous colour, and Speckled Egg. So this sort of project just goes to show that you don't have to just do ink blending and do a background from my uh, Distress Oxide and Ink colour combination videos. So there's lots more you can do using these colours as inspiration. You don't have to use all of them either. You can just use a couple of them. You don't even have to sit them in the same order as I did in the videos. So now doing the blues, the darker and the lighter. I think this is going to show up a lot more. Oh, that's just gorgeous. Um, but definitely a bit of a twist there. Again, let's get some texture going in there too. So these flowers have lots of texture. Gorgeous. Okay, I don't want to do too much. I don't want too much of the Uncharted Mariner because it is definitely a darker colour again, much like the shaded lilac was. Now, before I can use either of these, I do need to dry them off thoroughly because die cutting them whilst wet will just cause them to tear. Now putting these flowers together you'll see on the product page on the Craft Stash website we have got some images here you can flick through some other cards that I've created using this die set but we also have these images. Now these are all the pieces of the die set um, lettered for you so they're all alphabetically lettered um, and kind of colour coded for you as well and then on this image you can see how each one goes together so what layers with what so hopefully once you've determined your shapes in your set and which letter they refer to it's easy for you to put them together in the right order so for my lilac flower i've got more than enough here um, and it's absolutely fine i can work with the amount of cardstock that i've got for the blue one there's a lot more layers um, so I'm going to need to smooch in the same colours one more small piece of cardstock just to cut this layer from. So now my floral pieces are all cut out. I'm going to go around the edges of most of them with the darkest colour in whichever shade they are. So um, I'm going to use the Uncharted Mariner just to brush the tips of uh, most things with this one. So this is actually an overlay around the edge. So I'm going to put these together to do them. Just strengthens it a little bit. Just a touch of that darker colour on those edges. And then I'm just going to use a wet glue to glue each of the layers together. So all the blue ones and then all the purple ones. And then we'll start rearranging or arranging them on the card base and start to try to decide what I want to do about leaves. Now, do I want to have additional leaves or am I happy with just the ones, the white ones that we did in the background? My flowers are done now. I do need to add some stamen to the middle. I don't think I'm going to do so with the purple one because that's going to go behind the blue, I think. I'm going to cluster them something like these. So this one will need some stamen, probably a pop of yellow, um, just because that's going to really be a nice contrast amongst the blues there. Um, I'm thinking to tie everything in with the ink that's left on my Uncharted Mariner. I'm just going to brush that into this purple one. So although I'm still using those inks, it's just going to help kind of match these a little bit more. So just in the areas that are showing some of it, or quite a lot of it is behind. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better there like so. Okay, perfect. So I've, I'm starting to get my colours in there. So I'm going to also work, I think Uncharted Mariner is definitely going to be the focal colour. So for this, I'm also going to flick some blue ink here from this over the flowers. But I'm going to put some stamen on here, like I said, probably yellow. Um, there is a small dye in with these. Um, I think it might be this one, perhaps, that I can scrunch up and use as a stamen. Um, but I will have a look through all my flower things first, see if I can find one. Um, and then really just a sentiment, I think, and perhaps some dewdrop sort of gems clear gems to finish this card off so just putting that down in the middle of the flower and 
letting that those stamen kind of spray out a little bit in whatever direction they want teasing it slightly so the glue will dry clear and then I've got those there okay I'm also going to trim down a tag probably put some of the blue around the tag as well just again using what's on my brush and I'm going to trim the string actually works really nicely with the stamen but I think I might have that maybe coming out of here somewhere not quite sure oh it could go that would look nice just there and then maybe a smaller piece at the bottom just to sort of signify the bottom of the tag so uh, under here I don't know how much space I'm going to have I might have to lift up some of the foam tape I think that would work like so could even curl up the edges so while I've got my glue gun I can just pop some glue under that and this one although it's under one of the foam pads of the flowers that can go there and like I say I do want to also then uh, splat some blue over this my sentiment I think I'm going to go with um, a nice bold black sentiment probably one of my um, strips so I'll get that for my sentiments for all pack but first I'm going to add a little bit of blue ink splattered about give it a bit of an artsy look so just water down some of the distress oxide pick it up with my paintbrush oh perfect yep yeah, that's nice and bold over the flowers as well I think definitely and the tag so I've got some sentiments here, like I say, from my Sentiments for All paper pack, I've just taken an off cut of one of the pages that I've had for a while. Then I'm going to use my trimmer because I'm going to use one of the long sentiments and split it into lots of small pieces and have them coming down as if they were on the tag, um, but the flowers are, have sort of grown behind them as such. So it's the little things that mean so much. I think that's going to be um, my sentiment that I'm going to use. So pop this into my trim I'll make sure I get a nice straight line and hopefully in the correct place as well so much how about something like that yeah love, I like that I do like that I think I'm going to uh, attach them all down but I'm going to do them all with my foam tape so this is just going to take a little while so I think that's my finished card using this colour combination swatch here as my inspiration. As you can see, when you use the colours in a different way, you get a very different effect. And I'm going to do an entire series working through some of these colour combinations here that we used in the Distress Ink and Oxide colour combination videos. You'll find the playlist for that just here. So you can go and watch all of those videos alphabetically going through the Distress colours from A to Z. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel here and you can purchase these flower dyes just here. Thanks everybody, take care.